Shabbat Shalom, welcome to Two Minutes of Torah, which on Fridays doubles as thought for Shabbat. Is it appropriate to say Shana Tova? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, whether it is the Jewish New Year or the secular New Year, is certainly a time of reflection. And we lost a great Jewish thinker this past year, Lord Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, who used to be the chief rabbi of the United Kingdom. And he left just a beautiful legacy of learning and of wisdom for us to really continue to glean from uh, each and every day. And he wrote about Rosh Hashanah, about New Year's resolutions. And I thought I might share that with you because it's really appropriate for the secular New Year too. And he basically wrote a top 10 list. He said, try the following in this new year. One, to give thanks. When we give thanks, it creates an attitude of gratitude. Praise. When we look at people and look at them and try to find something in them that we can praise instead of criticize, it changes our way of being. Spend time with your family. Now this one we might have achieved more than we like during this past year but I would say appreciate the fact that we could spend time with our family. Discover meaning. Rabbi Sachs perhaps knew about our four M's, the last one being making meaning. And every moment of every day is an opportunity to say, how can I transform this into something meaningful? Number five, live your values, he writes. We talk about values a lot but do we enact them? Values are only as good as the actions we perform. And so in this new year, let us be sure that which we aspire to be, we actually achieve. Forgive. I often say the hardest words in the English language are, I am sorry. Be forgiving and ask for forgiveness. Number seven, keep learning. Shalom University is an amazing opportunity here at SHM for your continued learning, where it helps us grow. Learn to listen. The watchword of our faith, Shema Yisrael, listen. I had a professor who said, God gave us two ears and one mouth, which means we should listen twice as much as we speak. Number nine, create moments of silence in the soul. And what Rabbi Sachs goes on to say is that liberates the soul when you're just still and you appreciate all that is around. And number 10, transform suffering. This year of COVID-19, how do we do this? How do we transform the suffering? We may not be able to transform the world, but we can transform our world by being thoughtful, by being kind, by being wise and wearing our masks and social distancing, by taking actions that really make a difference in people's lives. That's how we transform suffering. It's not that we understand suffering for this reason or that reason, but we take the suffering and we transform it into something more meaningful, more powerful than the event itself. Let us strive to do all 10 of those during this coming year. Amen. Friends, I hope you'll join us tonight at services at 6 p.m. Uh, the last two weeks of the year, we always do services at 6 p.m. And once again, I wanna wish you on behalf of our entire congregation, a happy and most importantly, a healthy new year. Be well, God bless.